Hi, I'm Liam, and this is Deep Defender. It's an experimental app designed to protect you against malicious editing and deep fakery. Before I explain how it works, I want to be clear that this is just a proof of concept and no one should rely on it yet. I'm putting the idea out there so that people with more security and AI expertise can do a proper implementation. To use the app, I just run on my phone as I'm being recorded and make sure the screen is visible to the camera. As I speak, the app listens to what I'm saying and generates a fingerprint of the audio it records. Then it cryptographically signs that fingerprint and displays it on the screen as a QR code. I call this a signed audio fingerprint, or SAF code. Before I explain how this works, I have to give a bit of background about cryptographic signatures. Imagine Alice is trying to send a message to Bob over a public, insecure channel but Charlie is trying to intercept and alter the message. A cryptographic signature is a little piece of data that Alice can attach to her message, which will allow Bob to verify that the message was not altered by anyone in between. To do this, Alice needs a public-private key pair. She keeps the private key secret, but shares the public key with everyone. Even Charlie can have a copy. I'm going to skip all the details of how this works, but essentially the signing algorithm mathematically combines the private key with the message to generate a unique signature. A different message or key would generate a different signature. Thanks to asymmetric cryptography, anyone can use Alice's public key to verify that the signature matches the message. But no one can generate one of these signatures without her private key. If Charlie tries to alter the message, the signature won't match anymore. And Charlie can't generate a valid signature for the altered message without Alice's private key. So if the signature does match the message, it proves that Alice signed it with her private key, and no one altered it after it was signed. So why is cryptography useful for fighting deepfakes? Couldn't a sufficiently advanced AI just forge the cryptographic signature inside the SAF code? People have this notion from sci-fi that a sufficiently intelligent AI will be able to do literally anything, including breaking cryptographic signatures. But AI isn't magic. No matter how smart AI gets, it won't be able to break this sort of cryptography. At least, it won't be any better at it than ordinary computers are. AIs are good at a lot of things, such as approximation and pattern matching. But approximate answers are useless here. The signature either matches or it doesn't. And assuming we're using good cryptographic algorithms, there are no patterns to exploit. This sort of problem is better suited to ordinary computers. Any AI smart enough to crack a modern cryptographic algorithm would need a vast amount of compute to run. And you'd probably be better off just using all that compute to run classical cryptanalysis algorithms. So modern cryptography should be secure from AI attacks for the foreseeable future. This SAF code contains the audio fingerprint of what I'm saying, and a cryptographic signature that proves that I'm the one generating it and that it hasn't been altered. Any viewer can verify this. First, they can check that the cryptographic signature matches the rest of the SAF code using my public key. I've posted the key I used for this video in the description, but in practice I'd post it on my website or social media. Then the viewer can analyze the audio to generate the same fingerprint, and verify that it matches the fingerprint in the SAF code. And this is Deep Defender. If someone tries to edit what I'm saying, or deepfake my voice, the audio fingerprint won't match the SAF code. If they digitally alter the SAF code so that the fingerprint matches the edited audio, the cryptographic signature won't match. And they can't generate a matching signature without my private key. The SAF code has a timestamp, so we can also detect if they slow down the video to make me sound drunk, or rearrange the chunks of audio to change my meaning. I also overlapped the audio segments of each fingerprint to stop malicious editors from inserting fake audio in between the segments. So that's basically how it works. The hardest part of this system is generating the audio fingerprint. 
There are many ways of doing this, but for the prototype I'm using a simple robust audio hash. This is the same sort of algorithm that your phone uses to identify what song is playing. It works well enough for a prototype, but we should definitely switch to a better fingerprint before trying to use it for real. An alternative to using the Deep Defender app would be to bake the SAF code into the video during editing, or embed it as invisible metadata. You'd have to trust the person editing your video, but it would make it possible to include the video in the fingerprint to prevent visual deepfakery. For more technical details, check out the blog post linked in the description. The GitHub repo for the prototype is also linked below. Thanks for watching.